In this problem, it says, in a study of helicopter usage and patient survival, among the 51,194 patients transported by helicopter, 236 of them left the treatment center against medical advice, and the other 50,958 did not leave against medical advice. So I'm going to start with that information. I'm going to write that off to the side here. So I have 236 who left against medical advice. I have 50,958 who did not. And there was a total of 51,000 194 people. Okay. It says if 60 of the subjects transported by helicopter are randomly selected without replacement, so we're selecting 60 without replacement. What is the probability that none of them left the treatment center against medical advice? Okay. So we want to find the probability that none left AMA. So to calculate this, what this means is that we want the probability the first one did not leave AMA. Times the probability that the second one did not leave AMA. I'm just going to shorten that a little bit. Um, and then we keep going all the way down the line till we get to the 60th did not leave AMA. And there, I managed to squeeze it in there. Okay. So what we would normally do, because this says without replacement, is I would start with how many did not leave AMA to begin with, and that was 50,958 out of 51,194. And then, because this is without replacement, the next one is going to be 50,957 out of 51,193. And then the third one is 50,956 over 51,192. And then we go all the way down to whatever. But you can see where this is going to be really tedious um, and take a long time to calculate. And we don't need to do that. Because what we know is if we are selecting from a very large population, so here we have a large population, and the number in the sample that we're selecting, so that's the 60, this number is small compared with 50,000. Okay, So because we have a small sample that we're choosing, what I can do instead is approximate this probability by just taking the first probability and raising that to the 60th power. Because then I'm treating it as if it's with replacement and the values will be pretty close together. So I put this into my calculator and um, I don't know how many decimal places I need to round to. So I'm going to round to four places. Um, so that would be 75, 79. So if it's four places, that would be your answer. If it's three places, they do that a lot, then it'd be 0.758. All right. So that's how you would approach that problem. Um, and that's our final answer. So there you go.